Alright guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Check out another episode. We're working on the GTO with the 88 diff swap today. What today's episode, this is part two. This is everything you need to do to modify the 88 IRS case to accept this Hendrix Engineering swap kit to get the case into the GTO securely mounted. So we're gonna go ahead and get right to it. Here's the uh, third member. We're gonna tear this down right now. And then we're gonna shove it in the hot wash there and get it all cleaned up. Okay, so we got the case completely tore down all the races all the bearings pinion diff uh all the seals everything out of it we mark these up so that they'll line back up so you can see it's filthy i got a mess but we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the first washer see if we can clean it up all right so it's all nice and heated up yeah so let's go ahead and put this diff in there all this inside and we'll see how it looks comes out of the hot shot here so go ahead close that up all right so we're working on the case we got our bracket mocked up and one thing we're going to do is we got to put this uh half by uh fine thread in here so we're gonna we got this clamp down here so that we can work with it we're going to drill it out we got our drill bit marked and then uh, once we get that done, we'll we'll tap the hole, then we'll bolt this down, and then this bolt's here, and then our uh, adapter bracket for the GTO will be bolted to the case. So we're gonna go ahead and time lapse us drilling and tapping this. Uh, we'll drill through both of these together, and then we'll take it off and just tap the case. Um, I measured everything to include the washer thickness and the thickness of this bracket and the depth of the bolt. Uh, so we're gonna have to drill into the case a little bit here, but it's nice and thick I checked everything so we shouldn't be drilling through the case at all shouldn't have any issues so we're gonna go ahead and time-lapse this and Go ahead and do the right side of the case and then we'll uh, Just flip it over and do the left side after that this threaded it's good plenty of case left uh, the bolt has to go through this hole it's half inch bolt so we just have to punch this hole out a little bigger and then we'll put this bracket on there okay so we got our hole punched out half inch so the bracket should mount up to the 8 8 case like this this bolt here goes through this hole no bushings all solid mount the way that the uh, bracket is made it fits right in that whole precision. The washer clamps down on it perfectly. This bolt should go through here. Catch our threads into the case that we just put. We should be able to tighten both of those down. And then our case is mounted at two points. And we'll go ahead and do the other side as well. So there's the mount bolted two points on the case it'll mount two points on the car as well as the rear diff will be modified to fit the car as well but we also have this piece here where we'll throw some bolts through there to tie the two brackets together just above the nose of that there nice and solid so all right so the next thing we got to do here we got to vent the diff so that we don't blow out the uh, axle seals or the pinion seal um, while we're leaning on this thing. So some people will vent the cover here. A couple different spots you can vent the cover. But we're gonna go a different route. This is a nice flat piece right here. We're gonna vent the actual case. We're gonna come through here um, and just vent the case. So a couple options, you can get like a barb fitting like these. Or you could do, this is an eighth inch MPT push lock. So we're going to put this on there. We're going to go ahead and get started drilling on this. And then we're going to tap it out and get this dialed in. And then we'll look at uh, what our options are for baffling from there. OK, 
Okay, so we got this on right here, right? But we got to baffle the inside so that oil doesn't get slung up in there. So I just got this guy right here, eighth inch MPT baffled fitting. Just put it in there, thread it down because we uh, did this all the way through and then we'll tighten that down. Uh, after we'll put a little dab of Loctite on it, tighten it down and then we'll clean all the aluminum shavings out of this case. That came out really good. Uh, so the next thing, we'll probably clean this up one last time, throw it in the hot shot there, maybe slick a coat of paint on it, ready to uh, start taking stuff off the GTO here probably tomorrow or the next day and uh, get it ready, start getting the GTO ready to accept this new 8.8. All right, so disassembled everything, just got it out of the parts washer for the last time. Nice and clean inside, cleaned all the metal shavings out of it from where we were drilling on it a little bit. So, I'm gonna go ahead and blow, blow some air on it, dry everything off, wipe it down, and uh, just slick a coat of paint on it, make it look a little better before we uh, start reassemble here. So, go ahead and get that done. Slicked a little bit of gloss black paint on there, make it look a little better. Uh, because why not did all this other work so uh it'll pretty much be there till tomorrow we'll come back tomorrow re-put all the bracketry on there re-put the fittings on there for the uh, vent we'll pick back up with this uh sometime tomorrow cool so we got paint slicked on it uh took all the bracketry off uh for the uh parts wash slash paint piece here uh it's all dried up we put our vent back on and our baffling back in so so my buddy Dodger made these, just a couple simple brackets, straight piece of aluminum, uh, just a piece of aluminum with a hole drilled through it so that your sensor fits in it. And you just space it off of the uh, trigger wheel here so that you still get your speed sensor. So this is the last piece for modifying the diff to accept the, uh, the GTO application. So a small modification here. A little fabrication here a little fabrication there with a the baffling inside and a modification there slash fabrication i guess you could say but uh it's a pretty simple unit to modify just those couple little things All right, guys so that's a wrap for this video make sure you smash the subscribe button and hit the hit the bell so you don't miss any of this content and thank you guys for tuning in